Good day everybody! Welcome to your Inquiries, Investigations, and Immersion class. And I will be your teacher. I am Miss Clister Jane Hadlockon Cabejo. Now, this will be our new normal. Instead of going to school, we'll be having our class discussions online and through the modules that we'll be sending out to you. We're going to start with the week one with the topic brainstorming for research topics. And to start the day right, let us have prayer first. Ms. Lorion, would you please lead our prayer? Okay. Let us bow our head and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, you lead us today as we are living with you and each other and learning in Christ to follow your way prayer. We are all guided in God's grace in this session. Thank you. Now, upon checking our attendance, we are all complete. We are all 35 in this class. Please do take note that attendance will be monitored throughout the session. As what you can see in our screen, these are the Zoom rules that we are going to apply in every class sessions that we will have. First is the video is encouraged to turn on so that we could have interaction. Second, the video or the microphone may be turned off to avoid noises. Ask permission to speak. You will be allowed to speak. Just raise your hand to be recognized before speaking. You may use the chat box if you want, if you have questions or concerns that you want to ask. You may use symbols as uh, so what you can see on our screen. You may use the comment box as well if you want to say something. Also, we must be polite and kind. We must respect one another, respect the speaker. Second, no hate speech or bullying. Bullying is not allowed in our class. Respect the privacy of all. So I am encouraging everybody and this is a must. Any form of recording is not allowed. Remain confidentiality at all times. And in, if in case that you are disconnected with our Zoom class, reconnect yourself again. So these are the rules that we will be uh, strictly imposed all throughout our session. So please be guided accordingly. You may check it on your screen. This is a walkthrough of our curriculum guide for the increased investigations and immersion subjects for quarters 1 and 2. So for the content side, you can see all the content that we're going to do. Then the other column is the learner's output. So this will be the expected output that you're going to do in our subject. And then the duration is also reflected on your screen. So please do take note of our curriculum guide because this will serve as a guide for us throughout this uh, semester in conducting your respective researches. These are the materials needed for our session for this day. So you need to have your ball pen with you, a pen, paper, and a marker if you have. But if you don't have, pen is okay. Do you have your materials now? If yes, let us proceed with our activity for today. Are you guys ready? Yes. Our activity for today is... Hashtag, ano ang kwentong PR mo? Why are you laughing, guys? Okay. On the sheet of paper, I want you to... Make a hashtag of your kwentong PR. So it could be a word, words that you want to incorporate in relation to your practical researches subject, PR 1 and 2. Again, our hashtag is ano ang kwentong PR mo. Pa-hashtag na po. Yan. Yeah. Yung hashtag po. Yung, <laughs> yung po na pag, ano, kapag nangunguha kami ng survey, minsan, kay, yung iba nawawala. So, ginagawa namin, magpapapotocopy, tapos bibig o yung survey namin. Hashtag hanap ang survey. The point, in conducting research, dapat tayo ay, uh, in consult of it. Any other volunteer? Ang kwentong PR mo 
I want to hear from Miss Solalyon. Miss Solalyon, ano kailangan mo? Thank you, ma'am. Hashtag time management po. Okay. About that hashtag. Bigay po kami ng mga survey form po. Minsan po hindi po maiwasan na kailangan sa bibigay. Tapos minsan po wala pa po. Times talaga na ano po, mabigay lang yung mga survey. Kailangan may i-give up kami na isang at makolekta rin po yun sa mga binigyan namin per okay. section po. Kaya kaya talaga. Okay, thank you. Um, management is not uh, is a typical uh, encounter because it takes time. We are all enlightened with our activity conducted a while ago. We are all energized. Now, let us define what is research. Research is defined as a careful consideration of study regarding a particular concern or a problem using scientific methods. According to the American sociologist Earl Robert Bobby, research is a systematic inquiry to describe, explain, predict, and control the observed phenomenon. So we are all conducted our uh, researches on our practical research one and practical research two subject. Now, inquiries, investigations, and immersion subject is just a combination or it is a um, totality of what we had learned during our PR1 and PR2 subjects. Since the main goal of our week one is for have to come up with the research topic, now, these five key terminologies will help us to have a good one. First is we have the letter S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for relevant, and T for time bounded. Now, having this uh, acronym SMART, we must be first specific. We may ask the five W's, who, what, why, where, and which? Who will be our respondent? What will be our research study? Why do we want to come up with this research? Where are we going to conduct this research? What will be our research locale? And which of these things will be taken into consideration? So for letter M, which is measurable, measurable is be able to track your progress. That's why we have our curriculum guide, which was given to you or discussed to you a while ago, so that we can track your progress and we can monitor on which part should be done on a weekly basis. A, for attainable, make your goal ambitious but not outrageous. So, uh, our research must be achievable. So, our research must be attainable at the same time. Relevant, ensure that your topic is relevant to your respective field. So, since you're all ABM students, we are all expecting that your line of research is uh, keeping on track with accountancy, business, and management topic. There are lots of uh, topics that you may get into in the ABM's trend. Uh, one of the relevant topics that I am thinking right now is how does pandemic affects the a certain type of business and next this is um time uh it's nothing gets done quickly without a deadline so uh i will update you give you time but at the same time give you deadlines so we'll be having our set of deadlines for a specific test i am going to give to you in line with your uh, these respective researches now let us proceed with our activity our activity for today is selecting research topic i want you to answer the following questions so number one what topic problem or issue are you interested in i want you to name one general problem in which you're going to focus your study Second, what specific part of the topic are you interested in? For question number two, since you have your general topic, now you are going to focus on one specific topic. For number three, list a few possible questions about your specific topic area. You may ask the questions what, who, when, where, why, and how. And for number four, choose one to be your main research question. So I want you to formulate at least one uh, research question. Are we all clear? Do you have any questions? 
If none, I will give you 10 minutes to do this activity and after 10 minutes, we are going to share, uh, have some sharing with your uh, answers to the questions.
minutes is up. So later on, please take a picture and then you're going to send it on our everybody could see your work or oh, at the same time so that we have now who wants to answer this from the team yes miss suman hand yes ma'am yes so then po i would like to know po if the grade in ubnhs in the strand of abm are efficient put up a business po then sa number two, so yung specific part po ng topic is um, we are still young para po makapag-put up ng business na in our own. Number three, um, and so what? So, what possible technique po or problem para po makapag business who, who sino po yung main na mapatakbo na people na pwede po namin ilagay dun sa business ulo? Then when, kailan po yung possible time para po mag-update. So ano po yung pinaka-best trace po, po ng madaming customer, possible customers po yung isamnes. Then po ba yung um, ano, business na mga gagawin namin and then how, yun nga po yung mga strategies po para po ma-put up. Okay. Thank you for your answer, Ms. Manting. Far, do you have any questions? And now for our assignment, I want you to think of a research topic related to your strand. So this will be done into group. This is a group assignment. You are free to choose whether you will continue the previous topic and improve it or you want to change your topic. So you may use your topic you conducted on your practical research too or you want to start over again and to start a new topic. Third, you are free to choose your group. Make sure you follow the guidelines of four, only four members per group. So you may choose your groupings po. And then, you guys should come up with one research topic. So here is the format of our assignment. I want you to answer this. You need to come up with the name of your leader. Choose one leader for the group and the members, strand, year, and section. So you should answer the following question. So you may collaborate your individual activity we've conducted today. Choose one among those topics agreed it ag agreed upon it and then focus on it so for number one what topic problem is should you are interested in so this is more on a, a more specific type of answering the activity we conducted a while ago so then you're going to come up with your research title since we are well versed in uh, research since we have our one and two practical research for one and two so i do believe that you can come up with a good research topic so uh, this the deadline of this activity is on next meeting this will be done and this will be discussed on our zoom class session you may you should um, upload your answers to this question on our google classroom so dun po natin is send and that will be all any question guys okay if none thank you for participating in our class and see you all next meeting god bless us all